Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 1.4 is all about what makes a polynomial function, along with some helpful terminology. On the screen now is the technical way that a polynomial function is written. Now though this may look intimidating, understand that a sub n is the coefficient, and n is the degree. And also notice that throughout the equations the degree keeps getting smaller. Just remember that polynomials can't have a negative degree, imaginary coefficients, or any division within its equation. You've been working with polynomials and solving them throughout your entire schooling days. The only polynomials you'll see in this course will be the main four, linear, quadratic, cubic, and quartic. In a later video, we will go into more details on these. Now let's get into some terminology. A local or relative maximum or minimum is a maximum or minimum of the function. Of all local maximums, the greatest is called the global or absolute maximum. Likewise, the least of all local minimum is called the global or absolute minimum. And for those wondering if the function goes to infinity or negative infinity, those don't count as maximums or minimums. Polynomials with an even degree will always have a global or absolute maximum or minimum. Between two zeros of a polynomial function, there will always be a local maximum or minimum. Points of inflection of a polynomial function are current input values where the rate of change of the function changes from increasing to decreasing, or from decreasing to increasing. Or simply, points of inflection are where the concavity of the graph changes. On the screen now are questions you should be able to answer for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.